The last thing that you need to do is save it as a JPEG. Doing this will make your document much smaller, which will allow you to save it on the web much easier. Remember all the layers we have on our Photoshop document? Well, when you make your Photoshop document into a JPEG, it compresses it and basically makes it into one layer. So let's do that real quick. We're going to go to File and Save As. And you can leave your name the same because we're not going to change that. And yours should have your last name at the front. And then you go to JPEG and then you click Save. And if you click save, it'll save it into the same folder that you had it in. And I have mine on maximum. 10 will be perfect. That's just how high quality the image is going to be. And OK. Now, let's skip over to the Finder menu by pressing Command, Tab. That just shows you everything I have open. And there we are. There is your Photoshop document, and you know that because it says PSD. And here is the JPEG that we just saved, and it says JPG. So it doesn't save over our Photoshop document, it just makes a new one whenever you save it as a JPEG. And if you look over here, it says 622 KB, and this one says 4.6 MB. So this one is much larger than this one. And again, that's why we're going to save it on the web as a JPEG instead of a Photoshop document. The difference between a KB and an MB is in the thousands. 1,000 KBs will fit in 1 MB. So essentially, the 4.6 MB is actually 4,600 KB. And it may not seem like a lot now, but it can make a really big difference in the space that it takes up on your computer.